Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today we're going to review the Saker 4 inch mini chainsaw. You're going to see that paid promotion at the top of the screen. I'm not being paid to make this video, but since they did send me this product for free, I'm going to mark it that way. Uh, but they just basically said that they wanted to send me this and then have me give my honest review about it. I told them I would do that in video form on YouTube uh, so they'd be able to see that. And then y'all can see the results of it as well. And to be honest with you, I get contacted. I've started to get contacted more and more by different people. I turned down a lot of it because if I don't think it's going to be useful to me or to someone who I know watches my channel because of what I do, I'm not going to do something just to get something for free. This would be something I might would use a little, but I'm still a little iffy on it because I didn't know if I wanted to take the time to make the video and all those kinds of things like that. But ever since my wife in the chainsaw M18 video, you saw her become a master of the chainsaw with that. She even beat me uh, versus the gas. Uh, I told her that they had asked me about this and I was back and forth and she said, it, I want it. Uh, she said, it's no question about it. So you need to make sure you get that. So you can tell them you know, why you want it. Okay. First of all, because it's adorable, as you can see, look at it, it's so cute. But seriously, um, so we do have a lot of property here. Uh, we have a lot of trees on our property. Generally, the division of labor here is that he takes care of the grass and I take care of the landscape. And that includes pruning trees and shrubs. So my options normally include, yeah, something like this, which this is fine for like little boxwoods and things like that. This isn't going to prune a tree. Uh, I think this is actually my third pair. I've broken two before because if you try to cut through something too big, they're going to break. And so I've done that. Uh, this, uh, this is a little overkill for trying to prune a tree. Even though she wants to use it all the time now, now that she's used it I mean, once. I'm a master of it, but this, this is overkill. So I'm not going to get this out. Um, then sometimes what she does is, yeah. this is always in my truck and this is typically what she will use. And, but then I got to go to my truck. I've got to get it out. I've got to be home in my truck. If it's yeah. the time that she wants to prune the trees, yeah. then I've got to come into my garage and get the pruning blade that goes in it because I don't carry this with me. Cause again, landscaping is not a thing that I do in my business. And then I got to get a battery and then she doesn't really like using this because it's a total different action than a chainsaw. You know, you got this blade that's reciprocating. It's going back and forth. Well, with a branch that's just hanging out there. It basically tears the branches yeah. off and kind of like chews at them. It's not a clean cut like, like hopefully I think this is going to be. So, so this is going to be my baby for pruning and I will not have to wait for him to come home if I need to do something and have him get the, the saws all out for me. I'll be able to just do it on my own. I'll be able to keep this charged up and uh, I think it's going to work out good. And like I said in the unboxing, they have a kit. This one came with one battery. I think they've got one that has two batteries. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let her go and just cut some branches like she would normally do. And then at the, after we get done just showing you what it can do on some branches, I'll probably set up a two by four or something like that and because I don't want to just go to town cutting some trees that don't need anything done to them uh, and finish up however many cuts I can do with this one battery so that if maybe you're thinking how much am I going to use that if you're going to use it a minimum amount maybe the one battery is enough but I can show you how many cuts you can get on this battery to give you an idea if maybe you need to step up to the two battery system so you can have one charging while you're while you're using the other one. So we're going to go put this to work and, and test it out and see how it works. I'm going to. She's going to go put it to work. So yeah. let's, do, let's get so at here's it. Here's a little small hanging branch. These are the kind of things that she normally would just go around and check before I'm mowing and just take down the ones that are going to hit me. So she's just going to show you what she would normally do. Uh, and again, this is a little harder with the Sawzall, as you can imagine with the saw blade. That seemed like it cut through it pretty good. Yeah. Is it drastically better? Uh, it's not. It doesn't go through super smooth, but I still think it's because you've got this hanging branch that's got a lot of yeah. wobble to it over here. But, I mean. So that would be one scenario. Yeah. But then the main thing that this is really for is to be cutting off branches, you know, 
that are hanging on trees that are low like this. So we're gonna go, I don't have any low ones because she's actually already cut those, but we actually have a tree that's been down in our fence row. I'm gonna have to cut that up at some point anyways. So we're gonna go over there and just cut some branches off of that, see how well it does, see how big of a branch that we can cut off with that. So I'd, I'd say this one's about two and a half inches. I'm gonna cut it off and get it out here so that she don't have to be in here cutting this up. We'll see how well this cuts through. Not bad. This is probably more like three inches, so you're getting close to what the max will be. What does it say it'll do? Up to four. Oh, it says don't cut anything bigger than four inches. But I would say that when, once you get into this, now you could probably the same as what you can do with the chainsaw. If you had a branch that was five, you could maybe cut it a little bit on one side, cut a little bit on the other to get through it. I, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't do it. Now she's gonna cut up the branches that uh, I just pulled out of there so she didn't have to get into that mess. That way we can put them in our burn pile. They'll fit in there better. Plus she's just wanting to use it. So she didn't wanna watch me have all the fun. Now the safety on the instructions, it says make sure you use two hands all the time. So she's not doing that. So make sure and get on her in the comments below. Uh, but I'm, I'm assuming comments, it means so. put put your hand here and then one on the battery because it does say don't put your on. That's a guard that's up there to protect you from touching it from the top, but you're not supposed to put your hand on that. Now, why don't you use your trusty Sawzall and then you can say which one's better. Okay, it hasn't even gone through which, it yet. Which it's poor technique. She doesn't have the blade, the shoe resting on the branch, but it you could. It is shaking me to. Yeah. To the, Again, to it's the a total, shot. it's a total different animal of a reciprocating saw where that blade comes back and forth. So even though that's a pruning blade, can you use it for that kind of stuff? Yeah. And if you're in, if you're actually cutting it off of a solid tree where it's actually there and you're cutting it off at the base, that's going to work better than it did there. But I still don't think it's going to work yeah. as good a, as a chainsaw does. So. What do you think about it? Um, I like it. So. Yeah, I think it'll be my new go-to. All right, guys. So now that we've cut those branches, we see what it can cut as far as that goes. But now we need to answer how long will it cut on that one battery. So I'm just going to basically cut up this scrap 2 by 4 that I had in the, in the shop. I'll just keep making cuts. I'm going to do it until the battery quits. I'll try to count them, but basically you can just see we've cut the branches we've cut so far. Now I'm going to cut this 2 by 4 How many cuts can I make on this before that battery runs out? All right, guys, so we cut through, I would say, maybe 15 branches, some of them pretty good size, around three inches or so, so that's a lot of taxing on the on the equipment and the battery. And then I cut through the 2x4, I counted 15 times, I believe it was. It might be one or two less, one more, one less, somewhere around in that range. Uh, so, again, I think for one battery, and it's only a 1.5 amp-hour battery, so 
if you are going out into your yard and you're going to cut, you know, 10 branches, 15 branches, you could probably get by with the one battery. If you're going to use it a lot more than that, you might want to go ahead and get the two so you could charge it up. I, I want to say, and I'll put links in the description, but I want to say it was in the 60s for a single battery like this one. And then I, it might be in the $70 range or maybe $80 to get the double. But again, I'll put links in the description with the prices and all that kind of thing, or I'll put the prices up here one or the other, but I could personally see using this now that I've had my hands on a small chainsaw like this, uh, demoing subfloor out, like maybe if you need to cut out a section or something like that, you could plunge cut this thing in and use it for something like that. Maybe you, that would be a little easier. You could use it for something like that, but he's not going to because this is mine and it's for pruning trees and shrubs. But I think it's pretty good. I mean, I was actually kind of surprised by it because sometimes, you know, this is a name brand that I've not really dealt with any, haven't heard of anything about it, uh, but I think it performed, I mean, pretty good for a, for a mini chainsaw. I, especially with that small of a battery on it, I think for you to get that much work out of it, I think that was a good thing. Uh, I also did an unboxing of that. I'm going to put that in the video uh, after our outro in case you just want to see what all's in there. But again, it's pretty much this chainsaw and the battery and the charger and all those, but I'll put that in there. So in case you want to see what all you get in the box at the end, but we hope that this video was interesting to you and hope, hope that it's useful. Maybe you've been on the fence about getting something like this, or you didn't even know that this might be an option if you're a person who prunes a lot of trees or something like that, but hopefully it was useful. Hope that you guys stay safe, have a blessed day and see you on the next video. Bye. All right, guys. So again, this is the Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. We're going to open the box and see what the contents are. Again, here's the contents that we're going to pull out of the box. We got a charger, battery, some oil, the chain, the tools, and the chainsaw itself. Here's their selling points if you want to pause and look at that. But let's go ahead and open the box and actually look at the thing and see what it looks like. Uh, so you get the instruction manual. I've already got this out, kind of went through it a little bit. Uh, we'll make sure we read that fully though before we use it. You get the charger cable and then the battery. Uh, and I already did get this out also and charge it, but this is as far as I've got is the battery, the charger, and the instruction manual. But this charger just works by plugging directly into the battery so you don't have like an actual charger itself. This plugs up. There's an LED on here that's red, and once it's fully charged, that switches to green. Uh, so I got this out and charged that up so it'd be ready to go. Uh, very similar, it seems like to me, to a newer 20 volt DeWalt battery. I think it's very similar in size and form factor and the way that the button works, all that thing. So if you've got some DeWalt tools, it's going to seem pretty familiar to you. Uh, then we get into the chainsaw itself. So it is a little, little guy. Uh, there it is in my hands to give you a rough idea. Uh, it's got this guard here for your fingers. It also has this guard up here to keep you from uh, grabbing a hold of that blade from the top. Uh, but we have, let's see how big it is actually from one end to the other. So you're looking at about 12 inches without a battery, you know, probably looking at about 13, 14 inches with the battery in length. Very light, very compact. Uh, you also get a socket to loosen uh, the bar, to remove the bar, to clean out the groove if you need to. And then also a small uh, Phillips screwdriver. So to adjust this chain tension, you'd loosen this with the wrench. And then there's a Phillips screw right there that you go in here with this and you can adjust and tighten that up or loosen that chain, whatever you need to do. And then the last thing in the box is some oil. It says in the manual that you have to oil the chain prior to each use. And also, again, if you change the battery, like if you charge another battery, basically once you run out of battery, you need to check and do your oil again. So there's no automatic oil. Though. There's nothing, no oil that you add to this chainsaw, like bar oil. They suggest in the manual using vegetable oil because that's better for trees, they say. I don't know that. That's what the manual says. Maybe somebody can comment below if you're a, 100% landscape person and you understand all those things uh, Let us know in the comments if that's the best kind of oil to put on your chain So while you're cutting a tree, maybe that's better for it So but that's what you get you get the the chainsaw battery charger some oil and the tools in which 
you need to adjust the chain. Well, that's so. what you get in the box, guys. Hopefully between what you get in the box, the video footage of us using it, you can make the right decision for yourself if this mini chainsaw by Saker is the right product for you. Again, want to thank Saker for sending me this, giving me the opportunity to use it. I think we'll be able to put that to good use here at our house. Uh, maybe you can put it to good use too. Hope all is well. See you on the next video.